in this video we're going to look at the notion of the convolution of two functions. So it's defined as follows. So the convolution of f and g is, so we use this notation f star g, and I just put here that it's a function of t, but you could obviously use any variable, and it'll be the integral from 0 to t of f of tau, g of t minus tau d tau. And so in this video, I want to prove this following proposition about the commutativity of this convolution operation and give a couple of examples of the convolution of two functions. So let's look at this proposition first. So it's a fairly straight, straightforward computation, but it's useful to see anyway. So let's see, f star g of t. So that's going to be the integral from 0 to t of f of tau g of t minus tau d tau. And now for this, we want to use a u substitution. So we'll use the u substitution u equals t minus tau. Great. So that's going to make tau equal to t minus u. And also notice that we'll have du is minus d tau, and likewise d tau will be minus du. Finally, we'll also notice that these are tau numbers, tau going from 0 to t. And so notice if tau equals 0, that implies that u equals t. And finally, if tau equals t, that implies that u equals zero. So that's going to change the bounds of integration as well. Okay, good. So now using this substitution, we have the following. So this will give us the integral from t to zero of f of u t minus u, g of u, and then I need my d tau, but notice d tau is minus du. I'm going to take the minus sign and put it out here, and then we have du. Okay, good. Now the next thing I'm going to do is take this minus sign, turn it into a plus, and switch the bounds of integration. So here I'll turn that into a plus, and then I'll switch the bounds of integration. Good. And then finally, we'll just notice that this is exactly the definition of the convolution of g star f, where we use u as the variable of integration instead of tau, which is fine. So this equals g star f of t. So we've proved that this convolution operation commutes. So now I'm going to clean up the board and then we're going to look at a couple of examples. Okay, so now I've cleaned up the board and ready to look at two very simple examples of convolution. So here we'll look at t squared star t, in other words, the function defined by f of t equals t squared and the function g of t equals t, so those convolve together. So let's see, this is going to give us the integral from 0 to t of f of tau, so that's going to be tau squared, and then g of t minus tau, so that's going to be multiplied by t minus tau d tau. Okay, good. And so notice t is a um, constant with respect to the integration, so we will treat it as such. So notice uh, here we'll have 0 to t of t tau squared minus tau cubed d tau. Now we can integrate both of those parts using the product rule. So here we'll get uh, t over 3 tau cubed minus 1 over 4 tau to the fourth. And now we need to evaluate this from 0 to t. So notice if we plug in 0 to any part here, we get 0, so we just need to plug in t. So notice we're going to get uh, 1 third t to the 4th minus 1 fourth t to the 4th. Okay, good. But uh, notice that is uh, the same thing as 4 over 12 minus 3 over 12, so that's going to give us 1 over 12 t to the 4th. So that's the convolution of these two functions. Okay, good. Now let's look at these two exponential functions. So here we have the integral from 0 to t of e to the 3 tau. So because e to the 3 t is playing the role of f. And then we'll have e to the 2 t minus tau d tau. 
Okay, good. So now notice that uh, I can split up that second function as follows. So I have the integral from zero to t of e to the three tau, e to the two t, e to the minus two tau d tau. And this bit right here is a constant with respect to the integral, so we can pull it out. So that's going to give us e to the 2t outside, then the integral from 0 to t. Notice we have e to the 3 tau, e to the minus 2 tau, so that's just going to give us e to the tau d tau. Okay, so we're almost done. So we have e to the 2t, and then this is going to be e to the tau evaluated from 0 to t. Okay, so notice if we evaluate this at zero, we're going to get e to the zero, which is one, and then we evaluate it at t, we get e to the t, and in both of those cases, we multiply by e to the 2t, so that's going to give us e to the 3t minus e to the 2t. Good, and that's the end of the video.